big story tonight, a special guest here in Baltimore. Vice President Kamala Harris toured the mass vaccination site at M&T Bank Stadium and to thank those who have been on the front lines of this pandemic. And this visit comes the Biden-Harris administration marks its 100th day in office. Hard to believe. WJZ live at 7 o'clock tonight. Ava Joy Burnett has the message that the vice president wanted to get out there. Ava Joy. Good evening. The administration's goal was to have 100 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine administered by their 100th day in office. That's today, and they've surpassed that goal. And that's one of the reasons why the vice president came here to M&T Bank Stadium today. This is one of 20 NFL stadium sites that are administering the shots after they retrofitted to do that. And this site in particular has delivered more than 200,000 doses since February. Vice President Kamala Harris landed in Baltimore, then drove two miles over to MNC Bank Stadium's mass vaccination site. I'm here to visit because here in Baltimore, you guys are doing some amazing work. This marks the administration's 100th day in office. It was also an opportunity to tout accomplishments like the $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief plan and more than 200 million vaccine doses administered nationwide, 200,000 of them done here at MNC Bank Stadium. Things are looking up. America is once again on the move, and that's in big part thanks to exactly what's happening here in this stadium. The visit to Baltimore comes after President Biden's first address to Congress and a historic moment for the Vice President Thank herself. You. Oh, Madam Speaker, Madam Vice President. But the administration and their supporters are also using the opportunity to drum up support for a new jobs plan. It's already facing pushback from Republicans because of the price tag. As the president said last night, we're only getting started and there's a whole lot more to do. And as Senator Cardin said, we've got the American jobs plan to pass and the American families plan to pass. With the effects of the pandemic still fresh, the vice president had a message of hope. Some days I know it feels exhausting. But we cannot give up. And we will not give up. The vice president wasn't the only one to hit the road today. Dr. Anthony Fauci also came to Baltimore here at MNC Bank Stadium, and the president headed south to Georgia. Live at 7, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.